Hi, I'll show you how to use the camera tools and the posing tools for Cheat Engine. Well, you'll have to download Cheat Engine first at CheatEngine.org. So we're also going to download some of the scripts uh, from uh, Nepofu's, and uh, it's over here at the drive at the Google Drive. So see, see, uh, so th these are some of the scripts that you'll need to use the cameras and the and the joint scripts. So this one right here, the Nakoyo at Nakoyo SF5.ct, that's what you need. The Nakoya uh, is for the joint. And the SF5.lua, that's what you need as well. And Street Fighter 5 uh, CT, that's the, the camera. So I already downloaded it. And I also downloaded Cheat Engine. So this is how you go to Cheat Engine. So this is how you set up Cheat Engine right here. So I'm going to copy this one right here, the Cheat Engine um, 8664. Just going to rename this thing. Yeah, I just caught Fang Engine. So um, make sure it's going to be accessible to um, to everyone, not just the administrator, to everyone. Alright, to everyone, allow full content, modify, read, and uh, all that stuff. Just permitting it to be allowable to do everything here so it's not just for the administration. Okay. Close. Alright, gonna open the hex editor. I'm going to drag the Fang engine. So what I'm going to do here is um, search and replace control R to replace something. So we're going to find a cheat engine inside this, uh, this file here. And we're going to rename it and, you know, it, it looks like, you know, cheat engine, but I'm just going to replace the, the S, the C and the S and the E and the A. Just replace all. All right. So all the cheat engine uh, words is going to be replaced. And uh, that way, um, that way um, the game won't crash. Yeah, as long as it doesn't say cheat engine, you know, the, the game will not, you know, will not detect it. And uh, it will not crash. If it says cheat engine, then it will crash. I'm gonna delete the the back file here. It's gonna be uh, the new one. And I'm gonna create a shortcut so I wouldn't have to go through all the the directories to find the cheat engine. All right, now we're done setting it up. We don't have to do anything more like this. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this here. So open this up. I'm gonna I'm gonna paste the script, the SF5 Lua script from Nepafu. So this is what's uh, this is what it's written like. Just copy this. Paste it here. Execute the script. Uh, you notice something, right? It's not cheat engine anymore. It's now called not CE. And yes, I will save it as sf5.lua. I know we have, we, we already have it, but just save it as, you know, sf5lua.ct. And there, there it is. Now just open that up. Press yes. Okay. You'll do that every time you open this up. Street Fighter CT. Open that up. As for the camera. And uh, open up uh, Nakoya SF5.ct or whatever it is. And that's going to be for the joint. Nakoya is for the joint. So every time you open up Cheat Engine from now on, just open up SF5Lua.ct and then open up Street Fighter 5.ct and then open up Nakoya SF5. 
So while Street Fighter Five is loading, just open up that screen and you know click on Street Fighter Five, and see it. It's yeah, uh, it's running on Street Fighter Five right now. Okay, so let's go play around with Cheat Engine right here. You could actually hide the pause screen stuff. Yeah, the HUD stuff. You could actually uh, check out the hotkeys here too. So you wouldn't have to be, you know, um, clicking here and there with a the mouse. You could just, you know, use hotkeys to like, you know, make things appear or disappear. Alright, so, um, yeah, you know, we could actually, you know, uh, move around the play, uh, the characters here. Uh, you can move them, you know, to the x-axis, so, I'm gonna put this as, uh, negative three, and we already moved him, you know, to the left with negative three. And you could put three as, you know, um, to put, move him to the right. Now we're gonna move him up to the y-axis, so we'll move him up by one notch. And you could actually check out the hotkeys here, so you know what to do um, in these cases. You could check out the hotkeys here, so you could just move around with the you know with the keyboard rather than just clicking on the on the on the mouse. Now we could actually um, uh, play around the cameras right here too. So there, you could move around the X, Y, Z axis, the pitch, the the yaw, the roll. So I'm just going to use hotkeys for now because, um, yeah, you already know how to, like, access the hotkeys. So, yeah, just uh, moving around with the hotkeys. Yeah, best just to, you know, memorize them. It's pretty easy to memorize them once you, you know, start to use it a lot. Now with the animation change, yeah, you can actually um, see what animations are that they're doing. Uh, the, now the depth of field, um, it just controls like you know um, the focal points uh, of the screens. Like it, it'll make the the backgrounds more blurry, uh, depending on how far you'll go for the vocal, the bokeh, you know stuff. All right, so um, now I'm gonna do the character joints right now. And it, it can only work for the second player uh, on the on the screen. So I'm gonna, you know, gonna check on that. And um, gonna check out the hotkeys. This is how you um, you go through um, what joint number they're gonna go through. To control the joint movements, um, just hold on to M and um, you just uh, click on J, U, I, O, K, L, this kind of stuff. So we're gonna control, we're going to, um, we're going to slow down the speed for, you know, for player number one. Oh, there you go. And, um, we're going to see. So, some of the joint numbers will not work because that's not its particular joint numbers. You just have to find out where it is. But it looks like I've, you know, he's, you know, he's moving, you know, at his, you know, at his center, you know, point at, you know, joint number number two. So, that's supposed to be his pelvis. And I'm going to slow down, you know, player number one, too, so he wouldn't be, you know, moving around while I'm, you know, pressing the buttons here. So I'm going to move up uh, another joint number here and see if that works. Oh, look at that. Uh, it looks like it could actually move his, uh, his, uh, his leg right there. Yeah, joint number three is his leg. So uh, be mindful that every character and, you know, and every costume is going to have a different joint number. But, you know, generally the first, you know, few numbers, are, they're kind of the same, but it just starts to, you know, get different as the numbers gets higher, as the joint number gets higher. Alright, so, um, I'm just gonna, you know, have their, you know, their speed normal again. Now I'm gonna check this out. So now, um, I moved, uh, I moved, uh, the first player to the right side, and now he's affected. And, uh, yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works. This is a pretty, uh, neat, this is a pretty neat thing to do. Well, thanks for watching.